What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marky coming back at you with another video. I know it's been a minute. We haven't dropped videos probably like in like over a year or something like that, bro. But you feel me? Slowly, we getting there. But today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys why you should never store your dirt bike outside. Uh, on top of that shit, uh, getting dirty. You know, it's a lot of shit out there that's gonna be fucking with your shit. Um, outside animals, raccoons, wildcats. Shit, even the rain be fucking with your shit, bro. You feel me? The, especially the sun. The sun is the number one enemy for your dirt bike and shit. Like last year, was it last year? Two years ago? I don't really remember, but like it was a while ago. I ended up buying me a little 125cc coaster. It's like a little Chinese pit bike and shit. I think I ended up buying it for like $900 or something like that. And uh, I didn't really use it. Well, I did use it, but you feel me? Uh, I ended up getting a flat tire, so I ended up being used it like in around, I say like like in around eight months or something like that. So my shit been staying outside for a while. And uh, this last few months in California, it's just been hot, bro. Like, you feel me? Like we had no rain and shit. The fucking rain came today, like it's fucking raining outside today. But uh, the whole beginning of the year, we had no rain and it was just straight hot. Like the whole weather was just hot, bro. It was no cold days or nothing like that. It was just straight hot. So my my pit bike, you feel me, sitting outside, end up taking like a lot of damage and shit just from sitting there. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So I end up bringing my shit inside. Hold on, let me, uh, let me zoom out a little bit better. So I got my shit right here. So one, it's a 125, uh, it's a 125cc by uh, Coolster. I think that's the little thing right there. And it's a, it's a pretty cool bike and shit, no lie, bro. Like it's the first third bike I ever owned. Like this motherfucker pretty cool and shit. I haven't even bought a fucking bike stand. I got my shit sitting on top of fucking a uh, bucket and shit with like a little, uh, little leverage and shit, you feel me? So it can like keep this motherfucker up. But yeah, you feel me? Uh, I took out some stickers and shit. I didn't like all the little coaster, all the little branding and shit like that. You uh, feel me? I should like my shit like this, how it is. This a little front right here. This is the only thing I put on it was just a sticker. And I ended up cleaning my shit. My shit when I looks clean, bro. Like when I had it outside, my shit was so dirty. Like, man, this shit was hella dirty, bro. And I don't know if you could tear right there, but the fucking color started fading. The fucking color started fading off on the bun right there. And also from the body and shit, bro. The green right here used to be more darker than this. It started fading off. You can see it right here. You can see it right here even better and shit. That's one of the problems right there about putting your shit outside. Is that the sun is just gonna start fucking up your color and shit. It's gonna start uh fading your color and shit. And any little rubbery thing you got on your dirt bike, bro, like this little shit right here, some of these little cables right here, this shit right here, this little fucking uh plastic shit right here by your chain, the sun is gonna the sun is gonna heat that motherfucker up and it's gonna start cracking and shit. It's gonna start like like falling off and shit. So that's another problem you gotta look for right there. And yeah, you feel me? It's just like a lot of shit, bro. But uh, I'm gonna take it outside real quick so I can show you guys a little better and shit. All right, so I got it outside for you guys so you can get a better look. Um, I think it's on this side, what I was trying to show you. This shit right here, bro. I was trying to tell you guys the exhaust pipe right here. Look how rusty that shit got, bro. It's just like being outside sitting for like nine months. Look what happened to this shit. All that shit got rusty. All through right there, bro. All this shit rusty right here. Shit look kind of ugly, bro. Look at my fingers. Uh. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm trying to replace this whole pipe right there. I just gotta unscrew these two little things right there. I already saw the piece online too. I gotta order that shit. Take this piece out and get a whole new piece on here that's gonna look way better than this. But uh, it's gonna come with a different uh, exhaustion pipe right here. This one right here, I'm gonna end up taking this one off and putting a whole different one right here. So I gotta buy me a little tool to take this little bullshit off right there. Another one was the body. This little black frame right here. It started getting rusty too. Y'all see that right there? Okay, bro, I don't really like this right here. I'm gonna end up painting this over here. This little thing right here for the back brake. 
bottom piece that holds it started getting rusty too. Another piece will be this uh, little uh, rubbery thing right here they put by the chain so your chain won't be hitting this little metal piece. If you leave it in the sun, your sun's gonna dry this shit up and it's just gonna be like cracking off and shit, bro. This chain right here, this shit will become rusty too and shit, bro, but it was easy for me to clean it and shit. All you gotta do is just you get a little toothbrush, you get some oil, some fresh oil, and you just like scrub this shit and this shit will take off the rust and you know it's gonna re-moist your chain and all that. Another thing will be these little screws that hold the little, the little body things. These little screws right here, these things will become hella fucking rusty and shit, bro. It ain't really a big problem, but I ain't gonna lie to me, that shit look ugly. I don't really like that, bro. Also, this little thing right here that holds your air, fil your air filter, that shit's gonna become rusty too. And your air filter too, this shit becomes rusty, bro. You see those little, those little metal shit right there? <laughs> that shit do become rusty too. So if this shit becomes rusty, you're gonna have to replace this whole little air filter right here. Uh -uh. Motor thing, stickers. If you leave it outside, fucking stickers be falling off and shit. I already lost one right here. Um, this little thing right here to kick your gears will become rusty too. See that right there? And no lie, bro, the fucking kickstand, the kickstand on these little pit bikes, they motherfuckers be shit, bro. They don't work for shit. Like, they don't really lean over or anything. Like, yo shit be damn near falling off the other way. Right here, this little things right here on your handlebars, they're gonna become rusty too. Leave it outside for too long. That shit look ugly. And uh, what's these things called right here? The strokes, these little strokes that be going up and down when you ride. They will become rusty, bro. If y'all can see right there, that shit was getting rusty right there or dirty. I don't know what the fuck is that shit. And that shit will cause these motherfuckers to get stuck. So you don't want that shit to get stuck, bro. Like, you feel me? Once these get stuck, the only way to unstuck it is you gotta get some oil. You gotta put some some oil around this shit, some fresh uh, car oil, motor oil, whatever oil you're using. And you just gotta, you feel me, like, push this motherfucker down, you feel me, force this shit down to get that shit on stuck. <laughs> Man, bro, that sun be fucking your shit up. That shit also be fucking with your brakes, bro. You feel me? Before all that shit, my brakes right here used to be kind of, I, I was able to put it like all the way down here. Now, you feel me? They shouldn't even wanna move. It still works, it still breaks and everything, but this shit do feel like it's getting stuck. I don't really know how to work with this shit, bro, how to fuck with this shit, but that's not cool right there. You get hella fucking spiders, bro. You see all the spider webs? Hella fucking spiders all over my shit. I'm not even sticking my hand in there, bro. God, I hate spiders, you know what? So you feel me, uh, that's some reasons why, you know, uh, I recommend you leave your dirt bike indoors other than outdoors because the outdoors, that shit gonna, like, fuck up your whole shit, bro, no lie. Not really fuck it up, but it's just gonna make it rusty. It's not gonna really make it look good no more. Uh, if, especially if you get it brand new, you feel me, like, when that's just, like, fresh out the shop and everything, you feel me, you want your shit to look fresh. So me, I recommend you uh, either one, if you have like a little storage in your backyard or something, you either put it in there and you wrap it up with some so no water will get to it. Or two, you feel me, just bring that shit in your house, bro. Uh, I was reading that supposedly you gotta take out the gas tank or you gotta do all this or do that. You don't gotta do none of that shit, bro. Uh, the best thing you could do though, like let's say you did use the bike today and you trying to store that shit like inside your house, like in the kitchen, even in your fucking room, bro, you could put that shit in there. You do gonna have to let that shit like kind of like air out outside for like an hour or so. Cause if you finish riding and you bring your shit in like right away, it's gonna smell like a hell of gas and shit. You feel me? You don't wanna be smelling all that gas and shit. So the best thing to do is to uh, leave your shit outside, let it air out, and then bring your shit in. You feel me? You ain't gonna smell no gas and you ain't gonna have no problems like that. And also, I do recommend you should put something underneath it cause. If you have like a bike that leaks, you know you don't want that shit on your floor or on your carpet and shit, you feel me? So you should put some shit underneath it in case it's leaking and shit. Me, I don't really have that problem with mines at the moment, so I don't really have to put none on the floor. I should put my shit on top of my bucket and I should let my shit there chilling and shit. I am trying to do videos about me riding my dirt bike and shit, bro. Like I have been trying to do that for the for the longest. But uh I haven't really got to it and shit. Uh I had to give me uh I had to give me a helmet, that's one thing. I have to give me a, like a little microphone so when I'm riding, you can actually hear what the fuck I'm saying. 
And shit like a lot of shit, bro, you feel me? And uh, lately, you feel me, it's been a lot of police on my street and shit, and they be tripping and shit. They see you riding a pit bike and shit, they ride away, they want to take your shit, bro. Like, they don't even want to give you warnings and shit. They don't even want to tell you, oh, get off of it and pu push that shit home. Nah, bro, like, they just want to take your shit on the spot. That's another problem that, you feel me, I'm dealing with right now at the moment. That, you feel me, police outside, woo-woo, they don't really, really want to ride your shit. And also that, you feel me, my shit is flat. Oh, I got to take the front wheel off and I got to take it to the shop where I buy this, see if they'll try to fix it for me. Because uh, I, don't, I don't know how to fix, um, I don't know how to fix uh, flat tires for these motherfuckers. I heard you got to get like a little bar and shit and kind of like take the whole rubber thing off. Like that should look too hard. I don't really feel like doing all that. So me, I prefer to go pay somebody to do that for me. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, guys, a few minutes going to be in my video. I just want to say thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time.